All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome um, back to VTOL VR. It's been a while since we've been in, we've done a VTOL VR video. Well, we're back to VTOL VR because we have a new aircraft available, the T-55. <clears throat> so this aircraft was released about a month ago at the time of this recording. So, yeah. It's a new DLC aircraft, the T-55 Tyro. It's, well, it's the T it doesn't say here, but the T-55 Tyro. A twin-seat, single-engine, supersonic trainer jet. Capable of equipping all common weapon types for training and combat purposes. So yeah, it is a two-seat e e aircraft. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's a two-seat e aircraft, which can function, you can use as a trainer. Someone in the back seat can, like, act as your instructor. Not that guy. <laughs> Not that guy. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone in the back seat can act as your instructor. Er but it can also be used pretty well as a strike like as a strike fighter because the person in the back can act as your wizzo you know your weapon systems officer so that's pretty cool we're gonna be playing single player though <clears throat> and and amazingly the t55 also comes with its own campaign actually comes with a proper campaign the border war <clears throat> so we're just gonna get into it the Border War is actually playable in multiplayer, so you can actually play with two with two aircraft. Though we're just gonna be playing single player. I'm sure it'll be a, quite a bit easier. It might be a bit easier actually if you do multiplayer. And and also one thing I didn't real <clears throat> didn't realize at the time is that you can play the AH-64 quick flight missions in multiplayer as well. In fact, you can even have four players, so you can have two helicopters with two pilot with two people each. <clears throat> And one more thing I wanted to mention is that back with the AB-42, sorry, my throat is... Ugh. You know, the island campaign that takes place around Akutan Island, which is the default map of VTOL VR. Fun fact, I, I recently learned that Akutan and, and Island is based off a real place, a real-life Akutan Island, which is part of the Aleutian Islands near Alaska. The more you know... All right. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get into the let's get into the border war. I'm just gonna reset my progress. It's fine. Let's just get into it. Hold on. I'm gonna get a drink real quick. I cannot. <laughs> I'm I'm having trouble drinking with this headset on. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. Uh. Hold on, we didn't read the description of the border war. Tension rises on the border of two rival nations. Okay, it's not much of a description, it's just it's one sentence. Anyways, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. Mission 1, show of force. Joined exhibition flight along the border with the rival nation. Practice control and restraint in this risky but peaceful mission. Alright, so yeah, this is a peaceful mission. It means no combat, it's just flying. But it can be a little tricky, which I'll show when we get into it. We are Echo 1-2. The, er the era of peace seems to be nearing its end as tensions rise with our northern neighbors. Our rivals continue to build up, up their military forces along the border river. We wouldn't stand a chance in a head-to-head -head battle, so we don't want to fight if we don't have to. If we don't need to. In order, in order to delay to get a possibility of an attack and to demonstrate our intent to resist, we run exhibitional flights with lightly armed T-55s along the border. Today, today, the flight leader has agreed to include you on the team for the first time. You are to follow the leader's route in close formation. The rival nation is just waiting for an excuse to launch their hostile invasion. So absolutely do not cross the border on this flight. <laughs> the operation will be cancelled if the leader finds you to be too much of a liability. Stay close to the leader at all times, and do not stray off the path. Do not engage any northern forces. So yeah, stick close to the leader, don't be a liability. <laughs> and do not, do not engage, and do not cross the border. That's essentially the, the gist of the mission. Also, we can choose our livery, which is pretty cool. We can actually, yeah, we can, we can and choose our livery for this mission. <clears throat> because, uh... Because in as in, the new thing introduced in update one point six, which in, which introduced the T fifty five, is also the ability to to select custom liveries. 
to actually select, well, just select liveries in general. So we have a whole bunch of liveries here that we can, that we can apply. It shows different aircraft for the liveries, but they also apply to this aircraft. It only list, I think it only lists liveries that are compatible with with your air with the, with the selected aircraft. So yeah. So. So in the in the picture here, it looks like we have the naval trainer. No, actually no, it's not the naval trainer. <laughs> never mind. I'm never mind. Is it? What what livery is that? Is that the the force trainer livery? I think it is. Yeah, it's the for, that's the force trainer livery. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna go with the force trainer livery since that's what's shown in the picture. So uh yeah. Also, by the way, you can also you can also download custom liveries like from the workshop. So yeah. If you if you want, you can download custom liveries from the workshop as well. I haven't really looked at the liveries on the workshop. Maybe I will like sometime later in this campaign. This is not a very long campaign. It's only five missions. So yeah. Anyways, let's just let's just get enough talk. Let's just get into it. Let's fly. We don't get to choose. <clears throat> the the select livery was on the briefing page because because we don't get to choose our loadout. If you get to, if you have a mission where you get to choose your loadout, uh, it will the livery selection will be on the equip will be in the equipment menu. Echo 1-2, this is command. Echo leader needs to know you can be trusted to fly sensitive missions over the border. So <laughs> follow orders closely and don't stray off. Copy. Echo 1-1, one, one, taxi to runway 3-1. One. 1-2, one, meet me in the air. Copy. Alright, so... You can see, so here we get to see the layout of the of the T-55. It's actually very similar. The layout is very similar to... Hold on, I'm trying to get the right uh, the right position. The layout is actually very similar to the F-A-26. So, yeah. But we can switch to the backseat if we want. Of course, you know, in the... Of, of course, you know, in multiplayer, you would either be in the front or backseat. You can't really switch <laughs> in multiplayer. So, yeah. Let's just... We'll just stick with the, with the front seat. And let's get her started up. We don't, this, this is a single engine aircraft, so yeah. Let's get her started up. Absolutely do not cross the border river. Join up with a leader, do not cross the border. That's our, that's our only, that's our objectives right now. And for whatever reason... I'll orbit just off the coast until we rejoin. Roger that. For, so for whatever reason, uh... The my stick the stick always resets position. It doesn't like save the stick position. So yeah, I got it. It's annoyingly I have to do I have to reset the stick every time I start a new mission. Anyways, let's 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 get taxiing. Tower request takeoff. Copy. Taxi to runway three one. Alright. One one is and is in the air. Echo one one is in the air. Let, let's go. Let's taxi to runway and join them. Flight leader is already in the air. So let's also let's put the visor, the visor down because we, we gotta do that. It's not like, just like the the AV forty two and the FA twenty six. You do have to put the visor down to see the to see the full to see the HMCS. Let's taxi to the runway. Runway's right here. And just get her in the air. Let's get her airborne. We have like half an inter internal tank and and full external tanks, which is a bit of a weird fuel combination. Echo, one two tower clear for takeoff at runway three one. So yeah, we have we are armed with. So right now we are, we are not expecting any any hostile contact, but we have of our gun. We we do have our gun. We have two sidewinders, and we have a uh, have two external tanks, and half an internal fuel tank for whatever reason. Uh, whatever, I guess. Let's just let's let's just go. All right, one two taking off.
Also, yeah, like the FA-26, this does not have lethal capability, so yeah. Alright, we're up. Flaps up. Gear up, flaps up. Very boring. Let's let's join up with let, let's join up up with one one. Already getting lots of radar pings. <laughs> so off so RWR pings. Getting, already getting lots of RWR pings. As you can see, the enemy has a lot of of air of of air defenses. So we definitely do not want to cross the border. Unless. <laughs> yeah. Now it looks like they have like yeah they have like stuff like they have cruisers lots of SAM sites they even have an AWACS <laughs> they even have their own AWACS so yeah we definitely do not want to cross the border let's just join up with the leader with our flight lead <clears throat> so this thing is not also. This thing is not very m maneuverable. It's uh, it's not very maneuverable and pretty heavy. So yeah. Up. Oh. Hold on. Uh, all right. Let's. All right. We're, let's get behind them and form up. Let's form up with the flight lead. My nose is itchy. Stop it. Eh. Oh jeez. Look out. Oh jeez. All right. Let's go. Oh jeez. Where'd he go? Simon, fly heading 066 towards the border. Roger. Oh jeez. Alright, uh he's he's going so fast. <laughs> AI just completely ignore our physics. Uh he's getting too far away. We gotta get close. Gotta get close. Get closer. He's We gotta stick close to him. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You, you just completely... Like, it's a little hard when you just completely ignore physics. And the flight lead just completely ignores physics. <laughs> you know? Anyways. Alright, let's, let's just do a quick save. Alright. I'm working on it. You, you, you're the one who just ignores physics and just as it's immediately he goes Mach two. Okay, not Mach two. This this thing can barely even break. I mean, this this thing can barely even break Mach one. So shut up. I am right here, my guy. Yeah, yeah. You have to stay really close to him. He 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 really wants you to stay close. All right, we're here. We're here. Jeez. Yeah, this, this seriously, this this aircraft is really heavy. It can barely even break Mach one. So I don't know. I don't know if I would necessarily call it a supersonic jet. Maybe it was completely empty. <laughs> you know. Okay, this guy's climbing. Okay, what? Flight lead is climbing really high and turning to the left. You need to you need to speed up. One one turning left. New heading three three zero. Roger. Look at all those look at all those radars. Turn the base. You little shit. You little shit. <laughs> well. Uh, well, well, let's go check out the border. <laughs> well, we failed that. Let's go check out the border. This is what happens when you cross the border. Well, we can go see what happens when you cross the border. Oh shit! They have one, two. Yeah. 
Prepare to be destroyed. We. What have you done? I mean, you've done a lot of things. Oh, well, well we're, we're definitely dead. <laughs> we. I'm, I'm surprised we haven't been shot down yet. Well, our guys are dead. <laughs> Yay! We are all of our, our, our gra all of our units are dead. You, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Let's, uh, let, let, let's just, let's get bad information behind and the flight lead who still ignores physics. So, uh, there's something, so, uh, there's a bug in this, in, in the Border War campaign, which is, it's a, a little bit of a weird bug. It only affects the Border War campaign. I have not seen it affect anything else. <laughs> that if you reload a quick save during the Border, at, at, during, at any time during the Border War campaign. One one, turning left, new heading 330. <clears throat> And if you if you if you re reload a quick save at any time during the border war campaign, it will completely it will break your audio, the all of your radio communications. Like it will all your radio communications will become super quiet, and yeah, and then. That river on our right marks the border between our countries. They're just waiting for an excuse to launch an invasion, so absolutely do not cross that river unless you want all-out war. Right to that. Definitely don't want that. We definitely did not experience what, what. Definitely did not see what happens when you cross the border. Definitely not. All right, let's try to match your flight lead speed. Our mission today is to lead a flight of fighters low and fast along the river as a <clears> show of force. We want our rivals to know that if they try anything, we won't take it sitting down. Correct to that. So he's. I think he's flying around 480 knots. So let's try to maintain around 480 knots on his wing. And that's a set speed hold, and that should do it, I think. So yeah, I was saying if you if you reload a quick save, the audio will become super quiet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't like the, the speed. The speed eat hold does not like does does not u like using afterburner. <laughs> it just will not use afterburner. But yeah, uh, if if you <clears throat> but yeah, uh, if if you who uh, if you reload a quick save, the audio, your all radio communications will become super quiet, including all all mission, all of the voices, all of the of mission, the voice, the voiced instructions during missions. So uh, yeah. Two tyros will be joining us shortly. Keep your formation close behind me and don't stray off course. Roger that. I don't want you accidentally crossing the border. Roger. Let's let's stay stay with with one. We're descending. I think we're going around five hundred knots now. Oh, well, we're speeding up, I think. We're speeding up because we're going full throttle of descent. We're going a full throttle descent. All right, off at the burners. Let's go. Let's go burners. And let's form up on his wing. I think he's going around 560 or 5, 570 or even more like 570 knots. <clears throat> so we, have, we pretty much just have to alternate between afterburner and just end mill thrust. So yeah. 
<clears throat> Let's just fly along. Let's just fly in formation. In a tight formation. There's the other two Tyros. There's the other two Tyros joining us. Roger that. You can see all those artillery units and air defenses they've been building up right across the river. Yep, you can see all those air defenses and artillery. <laughs> Definitely do not want to mess with those. Stay in formation. This is a pretty nice formation right here. Oh. We're okay. We're good. We're good. They're just flying low across the border. Just gonna buzz their border. Not across the border, along the border. But yeah, I was saying, uh... Oop, careful. <clears throat> I was saying, if you... You see, if you reload a quick save, the audio will become super. All all the raid the radio will become super will become super quiet. And to fix it, what and to fix it, what you have to do is just just adjust the volume knob. Just move. You just have to move the volume knob. Like just turn it low and then high again. And that's how you fix fix the audio. Learn that from Reddit. <laughs> Thanks, Reddit. Anyways, up oh, we're falling behind. Let's catch. Let's catch up. <clears throat> Falling behind, let's catch up. One, two, you're straying off course. I can't trust you to fly this close to the border if you can't follow my orders. I'm... Oh, jeez. And suddenly, suddenly it breaks. Anyways, as you can see, we are literally just like, literally just, just grazing the board. The bridge. Let's turn right here and head home. Roger. We're just busy just grazing the border right here. You can see the old bridge, the old broken bridge. That will probably be, that will, that might that may become significant a bit later. But yeah. <laughs> Let's actually uh, take a look at the spectator cam, see how this looks like. Oh, in formation. Oh, jeez, look out. Not bad. I'm focusing on flying, so I can't really get a good look at how it how how the thing looks. Stupid speed out of my life. We're back. As you can tell, we're so close to the border <clears throat> that if it breaks out, and I think it will, 
and you got a real bad for the city. One, two, go ahead and return to base. Right to that. So yeah, that's the that's that's it for that's basically it for the mission. <laughs> and our, our flight is complete. Return to base. But yeah, if war breaks out, this city is literally right here ac across the border. So yeah, <laughs> would be super great. Uh, let, let's do our best to not let this city get completely wrecked. <laughs> Anyways, let let's head back to, back to base. Tower request landing. Echo one two tower. Clear to land at runway 31. We are coming really hot. Uh, we're coming in really hot right now. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're okay. We're okay. Let's just hit the brakes. Hit the brakes and we'll be fine. See, we're fine. We're fine. It's coming to land. It's the regular old landing. 100. Ten. All right. We're good. All right. No problem. So you might notice on the map. Back. Follow the taxi path to your parking area. Oh, we just missed that exit. We just missed that exit, it's fine. You might notice on the map you can see in the port there is in in the port in port there is, is a there is a carrier and a cruiser. That's totally not foreshadowing for later. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to park over there. I don't want to park all the way over there. <laughs> Just park at one of these spots. <clears throat> so yeah, that's uh. That's the mission. Pretty simple one. And all we did was fly in formation. Which is, you know, formation flights are always pretty cool. Are pretty cool. If not a little tricky, but hey, we're fine. What's going on over there? <laughs> I don't want to park all the way over there. Let's just park like over here. Why don't, why don't we just like park over here? He just, he's like, dove in and came in for landing. You know, I, I, you know, I always forget, you know, I always forget to turn on the spectator cam. You know, I always forget to turn on the spectator cam and wait for landing. All right, let's just park here. Mission complete. Mission complete. Well, we, we at least we had our sidewinders as a just in case, but we're fine. Let's just shut her down. I'm sure our Wizzo, I'm sure our, our Wizzo didn't quite appreciate us uh, tr cr crossing the border, but you know, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah. <clears throat> Yay. Not much in the flight log because not really anything happened. We just flew. We didn't destroy anything. <clears throat> and we've unlocked the next mission, Raiding Ness. We'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.